Hello, world students. We are on to our compare and contrast Cornell notes. So we're going to start here at the top and do some highlighting. If you are at home and you have a highlighter, go ahead and pull that out. If you do not have a highlighter, you could use a yellow crayon or a light colored crayon. And as a last resort, you could just use a pencil and neatly underline or circle around the things that we're gonna highlight. So starting at the top, make sure your name is on the left-hand side with the date. This might not be the correct date, so you make it the correct date. And let's look at the skill or standard for the focus of today's notes. I can determine and evaluate the structure that an author uses to organize a text. So this means how did the author organize their writing? So determine and evaluate and the structure an author uses to organize a text. So, and let's highlight organize a text. Just how did they decide to put together their writing? And one type of way that authors can organize writing is compare and contrast. A writer will use compare and contrast to show the relationship between two people, events, or ideas, showing how they are different and how they are the same. So compare and contrast are already bold, so I'm not going to highlight those, but they show a relationship between. That is important. We're looking for the relationship between whatever's being compared, and you're showing how they are different and how they are the same. And you guys have done this for many years. Compare means how things are the same. And contrast, how things are different. If we keep moving down here, it says, compare and contrast helps you better understand concepts or ideas by taking a new idea and using and old idea or concept for reference. By explaining the similarities and differences between the old idea that you are familiar with and the new idea you are learning, you are able to better understand new ideas. So let's make sure we get highlighted that compare and contrast helps you better understand concepts. Better understand concepts. And by explaining similarities and differences between the old idea that you are familiar with and the new idea you are learning, you are able to better understand new ideas. Better understand new ideas. And they have an example down here, which is a dolphin is like a fish because, and then a dolphin is different than a fish because. And you guys have done this a lot as you've been going through your elementary um, classes. You've done a lot of comparing and contrast. So moving on to the side notes. Now you'll need a pencil so that you can fill in on the side. So the structure refers to the way that something is made. So how did the author put together their writing? What was their form or structure? So if I move too fast on this section and you aren't done writing, just pause the video. Next, to compare is to tell how two, two or more things are similar or the same. Compare has to do with how they are the same. Contrast, to contrast is to tell how two or more things are different. Make sure you're writing neatly. Pause the video if you need to. And then here are ways to compare and contrast. And I know that you have done these in your classes in the past. You have used Venn diagrams where you put a title of, let's say, the dolphin over here and the fish over here, and whatever they have in common, you would list where the two circles overlap. 
and whatever they have that is different goes into those sides. And we've even done them with three circles at times. And then you've also done T-charts where you would list, for example, dolphin at the top of one of these and fish at the top of the other. And then you would list everything that you know about them on um, below it. And I'm going to try to get rid of my form here. And then below, we're going to write some signal words. How can you tell that the writing has been structured in compare and contrast? So I've got a list of words here that might be in the writing, and they would give you the hint that, hey, wait, maybe they're comparing and contrast, doing compare and contrast in this particular article or piece of writing. So go ahead and jot these words down. Similar, both, different, as well as, although, opposite, however, on the contrary, alike, more than, same, less than. So these are just some of the words that might be signal words. That means you see them and you go, oh, are they comparing and contrasting in this article? So those are the signal words that you need to have down on that left-hand side. And then the last section, go ahead and pause. I know it's going to take you longer than this to write all those words. You can pause the video. And this last section is the summary at the bottom. So the summary... Compare and contrast is a text structure that an author might use to help you understand how two or more things are alike and different. This can help us to learn new concepts or ideas. So take a moment and fill in those, the bottom section of your notes. And remember, you are going to be reading these notes aloud on the discussion board. Uh, um, when you post them.